Hey beauties, it's Meg Shop, and welcome to this week's episode of Truth and a Cocktail. Okay, we are talking about this week, ghosting. Oh my God, you guys, ghosting, ghosting. Why do we do this? Why do we do this to each other? Ghosting is when you go on dates with somebody and then uh, disappear. You disappear, you don't text back, you don't give a call, you don't give an email, you don't give a fucking telegram, nothing. Not even a singing fucking pigeon. All right, you just disappear. You are all ghosts. Now, I'm no saint. I've definitely done the ghosting in my day. But guess what? That was also um, way back in the day. And I'm here to tell you right now, there is one time and one time only you get to ghost. You wanna know what it is? It's when you both ghost. It's when you go on a date with somebody and you don't text them and they don't text you and you just never have to talk to each other ever again because clearly you both weren't interested. The problem is, is when someone does wanna follow up, does wanna go on the next date, does wanna see you again. You have to tell them the truth, you guys, even if it's just a text. No one's asking you to write them a Dear John letter or take them out for, you know, a fancy dinner to break their little heart. Eric, maybe it was two or three dates. It's not that serious. If you're dating someone, like you've gone on more than three dates, four dates, five dates, you're dating, okay? You are like officially in a dating level and vibe. You owe them at least a text message. If not, I would say anything after five dates, you owe them a face-to-face. -face. Okay, so recap. What did we learn today? One, ghosting is only okay if both parties ghost. Two, you are allowed to send the text message that you had a good time, but you don't wanna see that person again if it's under three dates. Number three, if you've been on more than three dates, you're in some sort of vibe dating that person. You've clearly wanted to see them multiple times. You owe them the face-to-face. -face. Is it easy? No. Does it suck? Yeah, are they probably gonna be immature because they're not gonna be as woke as you are after watching Truth in a Cocktail with Meg Shop? <laughs> probably. Be the classier person. It's really good dating karma, I promise. And you will also then know how to deal with other like issues in relationships a lot more maturely. You ever know a mature person that goes? I don't. All right, so you heard it here first this week, beauties. No ghosting. We are better than that. Okay, stay tuned. I'm going to post my super tasty, lovely mint wine spritzer recipe. It is super tasty, it is super light, it's refreshing, it's super delicious, and I'll throw in the mocktail for all my friends who don't like getting boozy. All right, tune in next week. I'll see you guys then on another episode of Truth and a Cocktail.